Hey guys, this video today is going to be about your memory and your mem the memory enhancer for you. Um, I'm not feeling too great today, so I just decided to get one out here pretty fast before I go to some community service stuff. Um, so as you can see, I've still got this um, the five spring five um, ro five yeah f I've got the five icon across th um, thing on, and I've got infinity um, board not dock like it had in the video um, before um, this is infinity board all the way down uh, I have I have my last video on this stuff so if you're just seeing this and think that's pretty cool go check out my last video so I'm gonna open up city here and I'm in my sources I've ha been having some problems with Cydia so I I kinda like read installed Cydia using red snow I don't even know what I did but it like kept all these all my entered by user ones, but deleted all deleted all the installed by package ones, which is what I wanted to do. So I guess it worked fine. Um, I don't even know what happened because um, it's still getting stuff from other uh, sites. There, it's like still enhanced or still like in it. Anyway, so you're gonna want to add need um, Gumball Tech, this source here. Um, this is the one that I've I've I got it like right when it came out. I read like a little article on it. And um, so I was like, oh, I, just, I guess I just never made a video on it because I didn't think too much of it. But then I had, the, I had a request for it, so I, this is the one I decided to do. Um, it's probably the simplest one, the easiest one I've found. So I just I thought this was a good one, so I'm putting this one out there. Um, the repo is right here. Um, HTTP colon slash slash gumballtech dot com slash cydia slash. Um, I'll have that link in the video description if you didn't catch that there. Now once you add this, it doesn't have too much stuff on it right now. Um, you can see just pretty simple stuff. Um, the repo icons I have installed. And what you're going to want is um, memory enhancer, iMemory enhancer. Now it adds virtual memory so like if I had an app from the App Store before I jailbroke that increased the virtual memory about to like 40 or something. Well, this one actually increases it to about 80 on an iPod Touch first generation. Now, with the 3GS stuff, I'm sure that's going to be, I think, I'm pretty sure that has more RAM and stuff, so um, that should be faster and everything, and just in, it'll just increase it more than it usually does. Um, so I'll just go into more info real quick here. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I just used the free memory in SB settings, and it just you know cleans it up pretty nicely. It, it'll say like, oh, it'll only take five. Um, let you guys read this while I'm talking. Um, it'll only take like five seconds, you know, in the SB settings, you know, but as it, it can become un unresponsive for about 45 seconds, and that's totally normal. And so you can see here, this person has 80. Um, megabytes of free memory. I usually get, get about 68 anywhere to like, I mean sometimes when it, for, right when I do it I just get 68. Sometimes it pops up to like 82 I think I've had it. Anywhere in between there um, is what it does. Um, this is I think the same article that I read before or that I read on there. Um, yeah, so when you're doing it, it will become unresponsive, and don't worry about that. It'll, you know, it'll kind of like freeze a little bit, but then it catches itself up with it, and it turns out all good. It's gonna, um, so you can just read all this, look at all the stuff here. I guess I'm just reading from it, but it just makes everything run a little faster, and it, you're gonna, you have, you should do this like every time you respring, reboot your device, because that'll make it run a ton faster. I'm not going to show you mine because I don't want to give away my IP address and all that stuff. But basically it's just like this picture here. Um, you're going to want to click on uh, processes here. Then there'll be a, it'll show all your processes that are running and then click on free memory and you'll get, it'll become unresponsive, it'll close out of that and then it'll get somewhere along the 80 or somewhere around 80 megabytes. So if you have any problems with that um, PM me. Um, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. Um, you know, subscribing means a whole lot. It does a whole lot more than it takes for you to subscribe. So just click that quick button there and thanks for watching.